Hello guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Sim UK. Welcome back to Howl Flipper. Why oh, said it like that? This is our office, which now looks perfectly, perfectly suitable. But uh, today I'm going to see whether or not we can possibly buy a house in the luxury department. How much have we got? We've got 64,000 available to us, right? That's a bit of cash. I mean, it's not a lot of cash, but it's a bit of cash. This one's very much a gardeny type thing. Make house for 66,000. Um, 69,000. Look at that. The historic house. We're just slightly short of the historic house. We could have had that. That would have been nice. Take a look here. 86,000. What do we need for this house? Where is it? I've forgotten which one it is. Historic house, there it is. 69,000, so we can buy that. It's got two floors. And look, it's not terrible. It's mostly tidying. A bit of painting and modernising. But it will be all our own design. Which is kind of cool. I'm going to buy it. Just bought a new house. Check it out. She's a little bit run down, isn't she? The garden could do with a lick of paint as well. On the left, you can see thumbnails of your buyers. From time to time, they will comment on your actions. Pay attention especially to those on the top. The higher they are, the more they are willing to pay for this house. To increase the value of the house, you can take part in one of the garden competitions. After pressing enter, choose the competition category that best suits your garden. We go have a look around. Let's just take a quick look at that view. Look at that. Got our own jetty and everything. Oh, that's not nice, though. Being overlooked by the neighbours. I'm not sure I like that much. Let's just have a quick look around the outside. Nice little area. So, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty darned good. All the doors are broken. It's proper run down. It's not in any kind of good state at all. Oh my gosh. It's going to have to go. Alright, let's check out the downstairs. What have we got? Oof. It's a work. It's the door we were just in a moment ago. I think what we'll have to do is strip it all down and just see what we've got and what we can think about then what we can do with it. Lovely waterfall there. Empty space. Huge, huge place. Oh God. Could not be a bedroom. All right, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to run around here with the uh, Selix Now gun. Let's try and uh, get a feel for the space. A massive bedroom here with an ensuite. It is in a bit of state, isn't it? Another bedroom with an ensuite. Yeah. It's only got three bedrooms, considering the size of the place. That is surprising. And this one doesn't have an ensuite or anything. All right, let's start here, shall we? And just start.
to sneeze. So the next time we come in, we'll probably be cleaning up. Um, I would imagine, and maybe starting on one of the rooms. I'm not sure which one yet. An awful lot that needs to be done. But I think we've got, uh, yeah, we've got a good opportunity here. Think about how best to utilise the space and the opportunities that we've got. What should go where, why, when. Etc. 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 But uh, yeah, not bad for our first purchase. Hey, pretty decent looking house, and uh, there's a lot we could do with it. Should we focus on the outside? It's a big job.
Groovy gravy. I don't think we'll do upstairs. Oh. On one minute. Now we're finished. Or are we? No, I think I've just spotted another bit. Hang on for another 20 minutes, guys. I've just discovered loads of parts that I haven't done. That's it, though. I think that is it this time. I don't believe I've missed any bits. <laughs> I've missed loads of bits. I would be a rubbish painter, clearly. Oh my gosh, I even missed a single section there. Look at this. Awful. But the good news is, oh my gosh, I missed so much. <laughs> the good news is that I always go and check my work before I finish it. But the chances of these... Oh, and I left the window open. I can't close it from outside. Right, let's just check around here. Done. Job completed. Now I could move my office to here. That is an option, and we could keep the house rather than sell it on. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that yet. Too early to tell. Certainly, though, the house is looking darn sight better than it was. We are outside of our mansion today, and we are just coming around to the early morning, having just um, repaired and repainted all of the downstairs, and I have come around and checked. We have finally got all of the parts that we were supposed to have painted, painted. And uh, I think it's looking an awful lot better. We've also mowed the garden lawn. A um, few bits missing, as you can see. Let's that quick. So that's all good. That uh, clears the way so that we can get around and do some work. Today, though, we're going to focus on probably the entrance and the downstairs hallway. I've got a little idea about what I want to do here. I don't like this. I don't understand how that got through development. Plus, there's a little hole up here. Now, again, I'm playing this before release, but um, it's very possible that this is all going to be fixed for release day. I know there's a big patch coming on release day, so you can expect more content, more stuff, more good stuff to enjoy. But let's begin by buying...
regardless i am very happy with our downstairs welcoming room i think we've nailed it perfectly there's a little computer there for use and as you walk upstairs the lights should come on but they don't they only come on when you get up the top of the steps no stupid game you should be able to link lights to light switches So I think what we might have a go at today is the dining room. Because I think it would be a little bit easier to do this than this room, which is going to be big and a little, a little bit scared by it, to be honest. I'm going to try and get some doors. Let's try and get some doors.
think that's acceptable. I think we've reached a point where this dining room locks. A very pleasant dining room. I'm still not sure about these, but uh, everything else I like. Yeah, I think we've done a good job here. What do you think, guys? Thumbs up. Hope so. But this is how the house looks so far. We've got a dining room, which I'm 90% happy with. And we've got a, a downstairs sort of hallway that I am almost 100% happy with. I really like this room. It works very well. Even the strange blue finish works. Uh, I quite like the painting that we've got up here. I think we need a few more on the landing. But um, the doors upstairs do not have to match the doors downstairs. We've got a few bedrooms. We've got like a bedroom one, bedroom two, which has the... Uh, rather frustrating door combination <laughs> very happy about that maybe i can fix that i don't know um we'll have to wait and see but um yeah this is probably the main bedroom i would have thought shame those properties are up there looking down on us although i think we've got the, the nicer house not that i've seen theirs but whatever's uh, some issues with the banisters and stuff. I'm sure this will be fixed on release day. See, there's a few alignment issues and things like that. Can't do anything about those. This is obviously the painting room. Uh, yeah, it's not a bad idea to have a painting room. I quite like that. An option. So, yes, this is a bedroom without ensuite the moment at least something we could possibly include but unfortunately where you can't change any of the exterior walls there's that one percent of rubbish look 100 percent now all the rubbish is gone yeah where we can't sort of expand the the, the external walls at all um we are limited what we can do unfortunately it would be nice to sort of re proper 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 redesign everything yeah it looks like we've only got probably three bedrooms makes uh makes the most sense although a house this size i, th I feel like should be five bedrooms four minimum there was a bedroom downstairs of course but uh i think we're going to convert that into something else I think of a wine cellar, actually. That's actually that's something they could definitely add in the game. A basement. A way of making a basement. So this is gonna be our main lounge and relaxation area. We'll probably have a piano in here, I think. Open fire. This will be the kitchen. And again, I've already mentioned a couple of times, I think it would be awesome if uh, it was necessary for all electrical items to be connected to an electrical outlet because at the moment they don't have to be connected to anything plus a hardcore mode which allows you to install things incorrectly potentially cause fires and damage your own property I th these are things i think could improve the game because this entire room has one plug <laughs> and that's just ridiculous but yeah this is going to be the kitchen guys and um this is going to be the sort of storeroom slash wine cellar room that's the plan and i might sort of focus on this but i won't do that today i won't do that today i think we'll probably try and both of these rooms are scaring me a little bit The dining room the lounge rather and the kitchen they're kind of scaring me because i don't have a plan this one i'm thinking sort of black units i want a central reservation i don't know i don't even know if that's possible have a look here what can we do furniture kitchen
This is probably one of the next rooms that's going to get done. Not sure what I'm going to put in there yet. Gonna be a quick episode that one. Uh, but yeah, the dining room looks nice. It's right next to the kitchen, where is it? Where it should be. Then we've got the lounge. Uh, sorry, the um, the hallway, the entrance hallway, and uh, a little bit of design in the external. Looking nice, looking nice, looking very nice. Shame I can't shut the blinds. And it's a shame that the external blinds are too small for the window. Just one or two small issues. But anyway. And also, when you walk up to a window, it says closed instead of open. Other than that, it's brilliant. <laughs> Lots more work to do. This is a big job, this. Massive job. So in here, we are going to have a sort of lounge with a fireplace and uh, piano, all that kind of good stuff. So let's, let's carry on going this way. And if we come down here, you can see there is the dining room, the kitchen. And uh, yes, today we're going to be basically finishing off the kitchen, which is this room here. This is the storage room.
Okay, well, I think we're done. I think we've got everything we need. We've got whiskey. <laughs> we've got wine. We've got cornflakes. We've got a whole bunch of different cereals. A bit of fibre bar. A whole load of stuff. Yeah. I do hate how that highlights blue. Wish it wouldn't do that. I know why it does it. Wish you could turn it off, though. Maybe you can turn it off. I don't know. But anyway, we've got loads of wine. We've got loads of red wines and stuff. Why haven't I got any red wine there? I've got two shelves up there that I could fill. I like the fact that we've got some storage boxes up there. It kind of just works. Especially the way that they're just stacked unstraight, which is what you would expect. It looks pretty good. Pretty authentic. Like I said, there's loads more stuff I've got. And it's like finishing touches and tweaks and stuff, but I think even just these little things here make a huge difference to the overall feel of the kitchen. That just feels right. Do a little screenshot there and send it up to YouTube for everyone to enjoy. I did not think that was going to take as long as it did. I'm surprised that I got so into that, to be honest with you. I thought that was going to be a, a lot easier than it was, but it's actually turned out a lot better than I was expecting, so... In the back room, I had a bit of an idea. I don't even know if it's possible. I really don't. But, if it is possible, I'm kind of going down the gym route, but then I thought, well, hang on. How about we don't just have a gym? How about we also turn it into a bit of a, an indoor swimming pool? I think it's big enough for a small pool. And if it isn't, we could always knock through these walls and make it slightly bigger. And then I thought, well, can we make a sauna? We could put sauna in here. We could have a little gym area. We could, I mean, there are options. There are definitely some options available to us, so yes, what we're going to have to do is uh, it'd be nice if you could get electrocuted, actually. Um, we're going to have to take a look and see what sort of options we've got. I don't even know if you can put a swimming pool inside. It might be over before it begins, this particular episode. I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's just type in pool. <laughs> Indoor swimming pools. Rock, baby. Um, oh, what colour, though?
There's no light in here. All the blinds are shut. Why is there any light anywhere? It's madness. I wonder if I can put lights in there. Like an underwater light. I don't think you can. Still, anyway, I love it. I think it's awesome. And uh, hopefully you do too. Certainly, it's a it's an area for uh, improvement. Wouldn't say it was perfect. It's certainly functional and usable. I'm quite happy with it. A few more bits and bobs that could be done, of course. on the most part I think we're there I think um, I'd be very happy with this and it definitely works it definitely it's in keeping I've managed to keep it in keeping or maintain its feeling throughout I think yeah yeah I think it's all right I think it's okay I'm sure each of these... I have found some more of these, by the way. Slightly smaller set, so I might go through and change those up a little bit. But, uh, yeah. Just one room to do downstairs, then. One final room. And then we can uh, we can move upstairs and start focusing on the bedrooms, which shouldn't be that difficult. There aren't really much differences from one bedroom to another, I don't think. So, yeah. Pretty good. I was going to say, let's see what the gym looks like from outside, but I've shut all the blinds. Oh, hang on. We've got a door straight into the gym here. Look at this. Open up some of these then. Not that the lighting in game actually works at all. For that. I would be so jealous that someone owned a house like this. I'd be like, oh my God. What a life. What a life. Can't really swim lengths in that, can you? It's just saying it's a massive hot tub. An enormous hot tub. I was just so tired after the build. Oh, do you know what? It's nice to be home. A bit dip in the pool. <gasps> oh, yeah, it's better. Better. Five minutes in the uh, in the sauna. I'll find the door. Turn the light on and off, but I can't sit down. Shame. Okay. Ooh, feeling refreshed. Quick shower. <laughs> Man, could you imagine if this game actually evolved to the point where you had to eat, drink, sleep? actually employ people and have a business it, it could be so good this game untapped potential people round for dinner multiplayer you could invite them round to your house this room took me so long if you haven't seen this episode man oh wow this is it for only very very hardcore people that episode because it took me ages to do something so simple right I am feeling a two-tone room here
But I think uh, I think we've done a reasonably decent job here. I think the the uh, the dining room, as it were. Why is that not working anymore? Weird. Or maybe it is working. Can't tell. Still, I think uh, regardless, uh, everything looks very decent indeed. This lamp is too low. So what I was thinking was, this room here has a double, huge, huge double uh, room. What I could do is knock a hole through one of them, and then this room would have an ensuite as well. Now, I'm quite tempted to do that. And I think it will definitely improve things. This, I'm still not happy with. And I may not be able to fix that. I may not be able to find a solution to that. I don't know. But... It would have to be here, wouldn't it? This would have to be for this room. So can I turn this into both...
There we go. I think that's looking rather spectacular already, despite being nowhere near finished. That's quite a long episode. That's like 45 minutes just to do an ensuite bathroom. But if you want to do it right, you've got to put a bit of time into it. And uh, for me, at least, it takes 45 minutes or so, it seems. All right, so probably next episode, we're either going to do the other ensuite bathroom or one of the bedrooms. I don't know. We've got 11,000 in the kitty, which is quite good. Obviously, a bit of work needs to be done in here. But, uh, yeah, I don't think that's a terrible sized bedroom. I think that's very reasonable. Fantastic views. Should look very nice, I think, in the end. I could possibly move the door over and put the bed there. I don't know. No point speculating it about now. Speculating about it now, I should say. But, uh, yeah, let's get ourselves a little... little shot of that send it up to steam as a spoiler only look at it if you want to know what it's going to look like in the end and normally i have a break between each episode but today i'm a little bit inspired if you didn't watch the last episode then you won't know that we've uh, built an ensuite bathroom here so now all three bedrooms have an ensuite bathroom but I still can't seem to get my mind past the fact that I feel like we could split this room in two and have four bedrooms up here. Two adult bedrooms, a master bedroom, a spare bedroom, and then two kids' bedrooms. So technically, the bathroom wouldn't be en suite, but it wouldn't be far off either. It is possible, I think... To do it. So that's what we're going to have a crack at today. I do mean a crack because.
our rocks and rolls. I'm very happy. Phew. That was hard work, as they all are, but uh, the end result is just superb. You can't do anything with these blinds. That's a bit disappointing. That is a lovely, lovely little little girl's room right there. It works, doesn't it? I just feel like that needs to come off the wall ever so slightly. So today's uh, stream is just, like I say, a test. I'm going to start on the remaining bedroom, the last bedroom, and uh, hopefully finish it off tomorrow. So if you're about tomorrow and you want to watch the stream, you're more than welcome to come and join me. I'm just going to focus on this room here. This is the last remaining room. It's probably considered the master bedroom. And it has a bit of a bit of an option. Not quite sure what we're going to do with it yet. We'll figure it out. I'm thinking maybe I might close this off, knock this wall through, and then make it a much bigger ensuite with. Uh, With like a wardrobe in it or something as well. I'm sure I fixed this already.
Took a while to get to it, but uh, yeah, I think it's turned out all right. Hola, bonjour, ciao, how are we doing this morning? Hello, 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 Stewie. Hello, everybody. How is, uh, how is the world today? I hope you're all good. Uh, I thought we'd come in and do a bit of gardening today. I thought I'd do the gardening competition today and see what that's like. I'm not very good at gardening in this game. So uh, I thought I'd give it a crack. But it turns out I actually don't know how to do it. I thought the option to enter a gardening competition was over here, but it seems I am wrong. Uh, so instead, I'm just going to carry on painting with a bit of this lovely lavender that Stewie picked last night. Very nice it is too.
Space travel. It's a thing now. We Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. It's crazy. Anyone can travel into space now, if you've got enough money. Right. Let me just Google this real quick. Uh, house flipper. How to enter gardening competition. So you have to sell the house. And at that point, it gives you the option to enter the competition. And you get to pick between crop, modern, American and English. Okay. Or apparently, you can just stand in the garden and press enter. Oh! And do it that way. There you go. I've learnt so many things.
That will do. That will do. Right, I've just got to find a barbecue then, and then we can sell this place and see how we get on. Oh, I'm still $4 short. I can buy the cheapest one. No, we need this one. We need the $35 one. Right, what can I sell? What can I sell? What can I sell? That's only worth two quid, so that's no good. I've got a couple of extra lights here. I can I can shift off two of these. Actually think that looks better. Right, we've got exactly 35 and 40 cents. Is that enough? Grill. Grill, 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 grill. Yeah. <laughs> Just enough. There you go. Everything we could possibly need now. We've even got the grill. I'll take you with a tour inside the house. Park the car up, obviously. Lock the doors. Come down the paving here. We've got the koi carp fish on the right. Protected by the gnomes. Over here we have... Le doorbell. One thing I did want to do is put um, a water wall in. If it will fit. Water. Wow. Okay. They're not as cheap as I was expecting. So, uh, we step into the house. We've got the uh, the welcoming room, if you will. A couple of storage areas. Take off your coat, hang your hat up. Hang your coat there. Obviously, there's a mirror for checking you look cool on the way out. Little desk down here with rotating uh, monitors for any of those computer-based things that you need to do, like the shopping. Uh, let's go into the entertaining room. This is the lounge. Sadly, you can't sit on this couch, but it's a nice couch. You can sit at the piano if you move the seat. Again, though, you can't play it, which is a bit, a bit of a shame. But uh, very nice. It is too, when we're entertaining. A little bit of a tinker on the old... On the old Joanna. Everyone has a bit of a sing-song. TV in the most strangest of positions. I don't like it there at all, but that's where it is. Got ourselves a little poof over here. Bit of wood, bit of ornamentation, some very, very nice paintings from well-known artists in history. And then this one, for whatever reason. This bookcase took me an absolute marathon to put together. That was a lot of work to put that in there. It's really deep, though, that bookcase. It doesn't need to be that deep, I don't think. Into the dining room, you can see we've got uh, a table set and ready to go. And uh, a couple of bottles of white, a couple, couple of bottles of red. And uh, again, some lovely paintings. Kind of went with a nautical theme in here, I'm not sure why. Just felt like it at the time. But uh, yeah, it's nice in here. And this lampshade up here, if you haven't seen this before, this gives these fantastic shapes off on the ceiling. Really nice. Step into the kitchen. And here we have a fully fitted kitchen with a bit of space left over for something maybe in the future. And whilst the blinds fit this side, they won't go here for some reason. So there's no blinds on the front of the house. But we do have this incredible arger. Nice skillet, and we're having vintage cheddar and chive sauce uh, fish uh, haddock this, this evening, smoked haddock. Very nice it is too. Out here we've got the utility room where we've got all of our uh, essentials. And these carafes and uh, glass combo are very nice indeed. Big stack of wine bottles there, bit of odds and sods. Tea towels, towels, a few boxes of stuff, a few food items, a few cooking items at the bottom. Lots and lots of uh, 
plates and cups and unwanted accessories. That also took a very long time <laughs> just to put that together. Um, uh, yes, we got the fridge, obviously, which I can't open, sadly. And if we step back through the, the lounge, I can show you the gym area. I was playing House Flipper, Flipper even, before it was cool. The wine is warm. The red wine should be warm. The bread bin, sorry. Let me open the bread bin for you. I think it does open, actually. I think you're right. Yeah, it does. It's pretty smart, isn't it? I don't know where the, sh uh, the fridge doesn't open, because so much... Pretty much everything else opens, just the uh, the dishwasher even opens, look. So why the fridge doesn't open, I don't know. Perhaps that's coming later, who knows. Okay, let's go check out the gym area. It's where I pump my weights. Um, when I've finished exercising, I get the surfboard out and have a little surf. Usually not for very long. Down here we've got the sauna and shower combo. Really nice little invention this. I might see if I can get one in my house. I like it. Treadmill, which doesn't do much. But uh, you've got a bit of telly to watch whilst you're there. And then obviously this is new. This is part of the uh, luxury DLC pack. This uh, rather exuberant... Um, weight thing I don't know what it is I don't know what it does it looks like a torture device from the medieval era few towels and items on this shelf obviously I need to fill that up a lot more and if we venture upstairs you can see we've got a bit of bit of art turn the lights on just uh, trying to make a, a relaxed calm warm feeling uh, hallway or landing and I think we've achieved that there's no suntan machine no no microwave that's a good point I should have put a microwave in we have got uh, two kids bedrooms I think this bed is awesome I would love a bed like this when I was a kid and I think I had this mat when I was a child and I certainly had this but uh, yeah a few little items a few little bits and bobs in the kids room Look at that. So he's got himself an Xbox, uh, a Switch, and a wireless headset. Pretty groovy. He's even got himself a little indoor goal. He's even got a Game Boy there, a traditional Game Boy, which is pretty cool. Rubik's Cube, some kids, books, some pictures he drew. It's nice. A few bits of... Uh, clothing in there what I need is some hanging clothes but nobody seems to have invented that yet so uh, yeah it's quite a nice room oh this this light is pretty cool as well look and we got these glow up glow in the dark uh, stars as well just for fun and then his little baby sister has her room here She's only very little, so uh, she doesn't need much. You might think this is a playhouse for, for babies, but actually you put the baby in there and then you can leave the room for 10 minutes or 5 minutes or 2 minutes or 1 minute and uh, she can't escape or get anywhere that she shouldn't get. Changing uh, table there, just a nice relaxed kids room. Very pleasant. And they have not an ensuite bathroom, but certainly a bathroom that they can utilise. I don't know why that mirror's got no reflection. It should do. Sadly, that shower is not interactive. And wouldn't it be nice if we could colour code to make everything match? I was trying to make these match. They don't quite. But uh, I love this, by the way. The diagonal poster just works in this small space. Super bright light, just to keep it airy. 
Make it rocks and rolls. Now, I'm not quite sure which one of these... Where's the knickers at? <laughs> it's in the fridge, next to the Mars bars. Um, I'm not sure which one of these is the master bedroom. I'm thinking it's this one, so we'll do that one last. So this is what we did earlier today, and I think it's turned out really nice, this one. Haven't I already made that bed once? Who the hell came in and unmade that bed? Bloody cheek. Um, so this is like the teenager's bedroom. Good vibes only. Fantastic views. Look at that. Wonderful at night time. Or you can watch a bit of telly if that's what you're after. This is quite nice. Lots of storage place. Magazines, DVD player. Xbox again. For studying purposes. Haha. <laughs> oh yeah, and the kitty cat. The kitty cat, the kitty cat. So turn the light on. Oh, crikey. All over the place. I think it looks best at night. We've also got this super-sized Stella. Um, Stella? Is that right? Interstellar uh, rug. Lots of plants and stuff. It's nice. I like this room. And then the ensuite here with this fantastic bath. And uh, that fantastic view at night time. Very, very chilled out. And again, there's the sauna. Come shower. You can even see the uh, the waterfall over there, which is nice. Lovely sink. Oh yes, and of course, we're doing makeup and such. And then the final piece de la resistance. The master bedroom as it is now, we've decided. I just like this colour combination, it really works. Especially with that, my favourite light, giving off that lovely styling at the top. Got some lights in the corner as well, if you want to keep it sort of more romantic. And in here we have a bit of artwork. And uh, a changing area with loads of space for loads of stuff. Got all your watches and your cufflinks and stuff in there. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And finally, the ensuite with yet another sauna slash shower. And views. Oh, for some reason, I can't open that blind. Okay. <laughs> but there's a waterfall out there, if you can see it. <laughs> Just there, look. If you squint, you can see it really clearly. But uh, yeah, again. Nice, relaxed. Modern, traditional bathroom. Not forgetting, of course, the balcony. And the reason why there's nothing out here on the balcony is because you can't put anything on this floor. Which is somewhat disappointing. But yeah, what a great apartment. I would definitely like to move my office here. As soon as we've only got 164.20 in the bank, I think it is that time to sell. Like I say, 130,000 when we break even. And it's been an experience. 200,000 and we'll be very happy. But this is the first time I've ever built and sold a house in this game, so... And the 8-foot tower radiator, of course, let's not forget that. So yeah, this will be my uh, first attempt. Alright, let's see how badly we do in the garden competition first. What have we gone for? I think we've gone for... What have we gone for? Oh, so there's a Japanese option, a modern, an English, a crop, an American. The American's the only one with a pool, so I'm going to go for that. $10.34 to participate. Oh, God. Well, we did well on the layout. The value of the house has increased by 20%. That's not bad. 
You think it's an English garden? I think the plant selection is probably what's let me down. It's got a lot of plants, it's clean, and it's my new personal record. 96 points. I don't think that's amazing, but... Let's go. Let's put it on auction. This is scary. 216 is the first bid. Fantastic. 225, 230. 230. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. 200, I'd have been chuffed. I think the Smooth family or the Smoth family are going to get it. Yes, 245,000. Oh, let's uh, shift and negotiate. I'd like to increase the payment by 61,000. That seems really cheeky. Is it going to work? Ah, uh, they've declined. So I can just accept their offer of 245,000, which gives us 203,000 pound profit. I think that's worth doing. So let's press space. And it's going to photograph the apartment. Fantastic. Nice. There we go, guys. A successful first ever sale. £200,000 profit. Not too bad at all. Okay, guys, that was awesome. I'm exhausted. And uh, I'm going to say thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Join me again for another one another time. Until then, take care of yourselves. And goodbye for now.